Next is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. 13th chapter, text number 18. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on October 12th, 1973 in Bombay, India. Jyoti Samupi Tad Jyoti Tamasa Paramuchate Gyanam Gyam Gyanagamyam Iti Sarvasya Vistitam Jyoti, Jyoti means light. There are different types of light. There is lamp, there is candle, there is electric bulb. Uh, the power also, they have different powers, 100 powers, 50 powers, 25. There are different grades of Jyoti. But there is Supreme Jyoti, just like this moon, moon, this night is full moon. This moon has got its illumination, but where from this illumination comes? It comes from the sun sign. The sun sign is reflected on the moon, and the moon has become illuminating source. Just like in a mirror, when there is reflection of the sun sign, the mirror can also reflect another dark place, not independently. Everyone in childhood, everyone has played with a mirror. Just put a mirror in front of the sun sign, and the reflection is there, and you can uh, pass on the reflection in the darkest place, and it will be in Have you got experience? <coughs> Similarly, neither the mirror has got uh, reflection, Neither the dark place can be illuminated by the mirror, but when the sun sign is there on the mirror, the mirror acts as illuminating agent and it dissipates the darkness of a corner. Uh, the sun sign is the source of our light. In the material world we have got experience with sun sign. Jyoti, Prakash. But where from the sun sign comes? Sun sign is also a reflection of another Jyoti or illumination. That illumination is called Brahma Jyoti. And where from that Brahma Jyoti emanates? That emanates from Krishna. Just like the sun sign is emanation from the sun glow, and the sun glow is fiery, illuminated on account of <coughs> the persons within the sun glow, they have got some bodily rays. That rays is emanating from their body. Therefore the whole sun planet looks like fiery planet. And from there the illumination comes and it is reflecting on the moon. And the moon is illuminating the whole dark night. This is called Purnima. So one is borrowing the illumination from the other, but there is the supreme source of illumination, that is Krishna. <coughs> That is confirmed in the Brahman Sanghita. Jasya Praha Prabhavato Jagadannakuti. 
Jasya Prabha, the bodily rays of Krishna, being illuminated, in that illumination, which is called Brahma Jyoti, there are innumerable Vaikuntha planets. The Vaikuntha planets are self-illuminated. Therefore, in the spiritual world, there is no darkness. Tamasa para, that what is said here, that tad jyoti tamasa param uchyate. That spiritual world is beyond this material world. This material world is called tamo. Tamo means darkness. Just like this night, it is darkness. Uh, why it is darkness? By nature it is dark. Simply by the sunshine, moonshine, electricity, we keep it brightened for some time. Otherwise, by nature it is darkness. <coughs> Similarly, there is another word, parasasmatu bhava anya, another uh, cosmic manifestation, spiritual cosmic manifestation, where there is no need of sunshine. Natatra bhāsayate sūrja na chan, na chan, na sasāṅka na pāloka. There is no need of sun sign, there is no need of moon sign, as we are in this darkness, material world, there is arrangement by God to illuminate the darkness of this world. There is sun, there is moon, there is electricity, there is fire. But in the spiritual world, which is tamasapara, which is beyond this darkness of this material world, there is jyoti. That word here it is said, jyoti sāma pem tad jyoti param. There are different kinds of illumination, sunshine, moonshine, electricity, fire. But that jyoti, which is directly emanating from Krishna's body, uh, <coughs> that is the real jyoti. Uh, so on account of Krishna's bodily rays, uh, the whole creation is coming out. That is Krishna's inconceivable power, Brahma jyoti. Janmadasya jataha, athāta brahma jīgyāsa, in the Vedānta Sutra, we have to inquire about that param jyoti, brahma jyoti. <coughs> and from that param jyoti, everything is coming out, just like from the sun sign. What is this material world? This material world is resting on the sun sign. Because the sun sign is there, therefore all the planets are rotating. There is a small uh, machine, and as soon as it is heated within that machine, the balls begin to rotate. Similarly, the certain temperature of the sun sign, the whole planetary system is rotating on the orbit on account of the sun sign. This is scientific truth. <coughs> and because there is sun sign, there is vegetation, there is water, there is rainfall, and from the rainfall there is agricultural products. Uh, so as sun sign is the cause of all material variegatedness. Similarly, this sun sign is also due to the Brahma Jyoti. The sun sign. Jatrakshure so sabita sakana grahana. The sun is described in the Brahma Sangita as the eyes for all the planets. Jatrakshure so isa sakana grahana chakshu. The sun is the actual eyes 
for all the planets, because unless there is sunshine, you cannot see. We are very much proud of our eyes. Sometimes we challenge, can you show me God? But he does not think that what power his eyes have got. It is complete, completely dependent on the sun sign. If there is no sun sign, his so-called eyes are useless. Still with that useless eyes he wants to see God. You see, can you show me God? I am not seeing God. That God cannot be seen. Therefore I don't believe in God. But he does not think that what power he has got to see. It is only dependent on sun sign. Not only this planet, all the planets, unless there is sun sign, because it is darkness. This material world is simply darkness. Tamasi ma jyotik gamo. The Vedic instruction is don't keep yourself in this darkness of material world. Come out to the spiritual world, Jyotik Gama. <coughs> so people do not think of their imperfectness of the senses, how the senses working dependent on the laws of material nature. Instead, man is very proud of his senses, especially of the out, eyes, adhakhik. Uh, everything dependent on his eyes, although his eyes are completely useless without being held by the light of the sun. So actually these eyes are useless. The eyes of the eyes is the sun. Every planetary system there are many millions and trillions of living entities. They can see only when there is sunrise. This Gayatri mantra is therefore offering prayer to the Savita. Om Bhurgava Sata Savitu Varannam Bhargadeva Sadhimai. <coughs> sunshine. So sunshine is, but there are many suns, not only one sun, as there are many universes. Jasya prabha prabhavatu jagadanda koti. Koti means in the numberless universes. And in each and every universe there is sunshine. So this sunshine is the reflection of the Brahma Jyoti. Jasya prabha prabhavatu. When the uh, bodily rays, shining rays, of Krishna is there, then <coughs> all these universes are generated. The universes are also generated. Uh, in another place, the Saika Nishashita Kalamatha Vilamba, Jivanti Loma Vilaja, Jagadanda Natha. Jagadanda Natha. Jagadanda Nath means, Jagadanda means universe. Each universe has a principal living being, that is Lord Brahma. So there are many innumerable Brahmas also, innumerable Sivas, innumerable suns, innumerable moons. There are innumerable uh, universes. And each and every universe, there are innumerable planets. Just sa prabha prabhavatu jagadanna koti, koti shu, asesha basudhādi. Basudhā means this planet. Vibhuti Vinnam, each planet has got different atmosphere. Therefore these people, they cannot understand what is the atmosphere. They understand. Some scientists, they say, the atmosphere in the moon planet is 200 degrees below zero. So there are different of scientist opinion. But according to Vedic literature, you understand that there are innumerable planets, and one of the planets is the moon planet. Nakhatranam Ahmasashi. Nakhatrana, among the stars and planets, Krishna says, I am the moon. So Jyoti Samvi, Jyoti, 
tamasa phala. So this jyoti, this illumination is beyond this material world. And because there is illumination, that illumination is reflected in the material world. You will find the reflection, bliss reflection in the sky. It means that Brahma Jyoti is bliss because it is coming out from the blue body of Krishna. Therefore it is bliss. Uh, we see the sky bliss. Uh, and in the darkness we see, although it is darkness, there is some brightness in the sky. All this, this sky is, the sky is everywhere. But the covering is seven times covered by different types of material elements. And that Brahma Jyoti is penetrating through the covers and little reflection we can see in the sky. So therefore, here, here it is said, Jyoti Shamapi. Uh, jyoti samasapara uchyate jnanam geyam uh, jnanagammam iti sarvasya adhisthitam uh, vishthitam. Krishna is situated in everyone's heart. Actually he is knowledge and he is the object of knowledge. Gyam, and one should try to understand Krishna. Gyanam, Gyam, Gyanagammam. Uh, and He is in everyone's heart. Ishara, Sarabhutana, Riddhesya, Arjuna, Tishthati. Simply, we have to uh, know the process, how to know Him. Uh, that is explained already. We have discussed. Amanittam, Agamvittam, Ahinsha, Khanti, Ardhamam, Acharyopasanam, uh, India, Vinigraham, Bhakti Yoga, Mancha, Bhavicharni, Bhakti Yogena. These things are already discussed. So, human life is meant for understanding this. Athaka Brahmaji. These are all Brahma subjects. They are not material subject matter. Tattva Vasu. Vadanti tat tattva vidas tattvam jas jnana madhyam. So, uh, this Vedic civilization is meant for Brahma realization. Therefore, we have got so many Vedic literatures. Bhagavad Gita is only a part, A, B, C, D, the first book of spiritual knowledge. Still, people are so degraded that they cannot understand even Bhagavad Gita, the ABCD. What they will understand? Uh, other things. Uh, their education is so poor and they are so unfortunate that in Bhagavad Gita, which Krishna left behind him, Krishna was present five thousand years ago on this planet and just to benefit us. He left his instruction, Bhagavad Gita. Uh, Arjun did not require the instruction of Bhagavad Gita. He was already enlightened. But he uh, presented himself as a fool just to induce the Lord to speak on Bhagavad Gita. And it is noted by Vyasadeva, Vedabhyas, in the Mahabharata so that people may take advantage of the instruction of the Supreme Personality, God. Uh, everything is there. Uh, what is this Brahma Jyoti? What is this material world? What is the spiritual world? What is our object of life? What we should know? But we are, because we are so much influenced by the material world, especially in this age of Kuli, the age of misunderstanding and quarreling, that people are manda samanda matayo manda bhagga jivadrita prayena alpaya yusa kalavasmin jivedana. In this age, their life is very 
short. Span of life is very short. And Munda, all bad, not good men. Munda, and even they are so called good men. They have got their own process of knowledge, the speculative process, uh, godless. The main basic principle of speculative process is to avoid Krishna, to avoid God. There are so many commentaries on Bhagavad Gita to make Krishna need. Uh, that is uh, uh, mental speculation. Uh, somebody is saying that in the Bhagavad Gita there is karma only recommended. Somebody says jnana, somebody says yoga, somebody says bhakti. But actually Bhagavad Gita is meant for bhakta, bhaktosi, sakācheti. Uh, Bhagavad Gita was instructed to John for his only qualification that he was a devote of Bhakti Sri Sakhacheti. So the whole Bhagavad Gita is a sense of Vedic knowledge. And the Vedic knowledge means to understand Krishna. Vedesya Sarvaya Hamiva Vedya. Vedesu Dullava Adul Adul Lava Atma Bhakto. Even if you study Vedic literature, without bhakti, without studying the Vedic literature. <coughs> you cannot understand the absolute truth. Bhakta Sutta Gritaya Tasadda Dhanasya Munayo Gyano Vairagu Jyutvaya Tasadda Dhanasya Munayo Those who are faithful, such great saintly persons, Sadda Dhanasya Munayo jnana vairāga jiktaya jnana vairāga jiktaya There is sufficient knowledge and vairāga. The task. Vairāga, Vedānta knowledge is not to be discussed on the table as a recreation, taking tea and smoking and discussing on Vedānta sutra. This kind of discussion will not help. Jnana vairāgya jiktaya, vairāgya. There must be detachment from material activities. Tasya dadhānasya munayam jnana vairāgya pasyanti ātmani ātmānam bhaktā sruta grihitaya. Bhaktā, there must be bhakti. And what kind of bhakti? Not sentiment, but sruta grihitaya. Taking accepting bhakti, the devotional path, after being completely aware of the spiritual science, bhakta sruta bhakta. Sruta, the specific meaning of sruta means this knowledge has to be received through the ear, through the tongue. Sevanu kihi jivhādo sruta bhakta. It is never explained in the Vedic literature that the science of God can be understood by the eyes. No. It has been mentioned. The tongue and the ear. These are the sources. Sruta Gritaya. One must hear the Vedic literature. The Vedic literature is called their God. Sruti. Srotriyam Brahmanishtam. Sotya. Formerly there was no book. Uh, the students used to hear from the spiritual master. Sutta, Sotriyam. That was perfect. There was no, no need of uh, literacy. Uh, that ear is sufficient. Sutta Brihitaya. Tasadda Dhana Samunayu. Jnana Bhiraga Hearing, hearing, hearing. One becomes enlightened with knowledge, and the effect of knowledge is vairāgya, vairāgya detachment. Uh, otherwise we uh, hearing or studying, but there is no vairāgya. Even big, big sannyāsis, they cannot, they are 
in the saffron dress. But the Vairagya, so far Vairagya is concerned, if you study their inner history, there is no Vairagya. They are attached to all kinds of material in the world. Simply a shoe bottle dress, that will not help. But there must be Vairagya. That Vairagya can be achieved by bhakta-śrūta vidhitaya. When you hear, bhakta means uh, through the devotees, or you becoming devotee, that must be devotional science. And bhakti means uh, seval mukha, the attitude of rendering service to the law, that is bhakti. Rishikena rishikesa sevanam bhakti ruchyate. Bhakti means when you engage your senses for the service of the master of the senses, rishikesa, that is called bhakti. Uh, bhakti is not sentiment. Just like these boys, these American, European boys, Indian boys who are working for Krishna consciousness, they are simply engaging their senses in the service of the master of the senses, Krishna. Therefore they are making progress. Rishikena Rishikesa Sevanam Bhakti Vichya. Sevanam Kehi Jivhado Samevas Puratthada. When you engage your tongue in a uh, loving service of the law, he becomes revealed, he manifests himself. Vishara Sarvabhutanam, Riddesh Yajyas, is already there within your heart. And if you become purified, tatparattena nirvalam, sarvapadhi vininmuttam tatparattena nirvalam, if you become nirvalam, if you become purified, how you, you can become purified? Tatparattena, just being absorbed in thought of Krishna, tatparattena, uh, nirvana. If you simply remain always in fire, uh, then you remain always warm. There is no possibility of being caught by the chilly coldness. That is not possible. Devi Jisama Mumaya Durattaya. Devi Jisama Mumaya Mumaya Durattaya. Mami Mila Prabhadanti. Maya Mitantaranti. So the only process for keeping yourself aloof from the touch of Maya is Bhakti. Is Bhakti. That is the conclusion of all Shastras. Without taking to the process of Bhakti, you cannot get out of the influence of maya. Uh, uh, that is required. Uh, that is the objective of life. Gyam jnāgammam uh, uh, <coughs> So, if we utilize our life for understanding the Supreme, gyam jnāgammam uh, maicha ananna yogena uh, ananna yogena bhakti uh, if you learn that art how you can become ananna yoga bhakti a bhavicharini bhakti then you will understand what is krishna vaktama bhujana ti jaman jaschami tattva uh, by tattva by in truth you will be able to understand krishna and as soon as you understand Krishna, your life becomes successful. Janma karmam ve dibbam ju janati tattva. So the same tattva, in truth, not superficially. If you understand Krishna, then tattva deham punar janma naiti. After giving up this body, you will not have to accept another material body. That is, Samsiddhim Paramahangata, that is highest perfection of life. If you don't accept anymore the material form of body, there are eight million four hundred thousand species of body, any type of body you accept, it is troublesome, it is miserable. Uh, 
मात्रा स्पर्ण शास्त्र कौनती और सीतोष न सुख दुख दा दी बॉडीली पेन्स एंड प्लेजर आर पार्सिबेव मात्रा स्पर्श बिकॉज वी हैव दिस मेटीरियल स्किन मात्रा एंड वेन इट इज टच इन टच विद द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ दिस मेटीरियल वर्ल्ड मात्रा स्पर्श वी बिकम सब्जेक्ट ऑफ pains and pleasure but if you don't have this material body then you are untouched by the material qualities you are completely in spiritual body no there is no question of pains and pleasure it is simply blissful life maam upi tatu kaunti ya dukhala eva sasatam labhnuvanti mahatmano samsiddhim paramangata That is the highest perfection of life. If you come back, if you go back to home, back to God, eh, Krishna. Uh, so this is the process. Uh, <coughs> so we shall discuss tomorrow. Eh?